Hey, what's up, everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I'm hearing the Lakers are uh, possibly in the mix for Josh Richardson. Now, me personally, I ain't never been a Josh Richardson guy. I don't think he's played his best ball since he left Miami, and I'm not excited about bringing him in. However, he makes $11 million, and I did the trade tracker. Now, the Lakers could give up Taylor Horton Tucker at $9 million plus, 9.5, something like that, and then add one of our 1.6 players, or we can give them Kendrick Nunn, and add like four of our 1.6 players, which would be a heaven sent, in my opinion. I'm talking Kent Bazemore, DJ, Trevor Ariza, you know, one of those guys. F those uh, Of those guys, we can give them four of them in this deal if they would be so inclined to take our garbage from us. Now, I don't know why the, the Boston Celtics would be willing to take our garbage from us. Maybe they could just go ahead and wave all those guys themselves. Um... But that would be ideal, in my opinion. I, w I don't want to give them THT for Josh Richardson just to get one of those guys off our books. And that would be the only other variation of that trade that could be done. Now, if they were willing to give us some picks, right? If they were going to give us like a first round pick for THT and then we take that $11 million uh, Josh Richardson. And then from there, maybe send them off one of our garbage guys. Uh, hey, that, that might be something you listen to depending on what the picks look like or what have you. But I think the moral of the story for me is to just get all of these bad old guys off of our damn team as soon as humanly possible because they all are done. I don't care about none of them at all. I want them all gone. <laughs> Except for, like, Carmelo Anthony like, and, and Dwight Howard. Those are the only two I really want to keep, to be honest with you. I would never get rid of Melo because we love Melo here. And that's, that's yeah, he's still serviceable and he's, he's outplayed that contract, in my opinion. So I don't even put him in that mix. If you guys are wondering, I never, ever have Carmelo Anthony in that mix. <laughs> Um, and Dwight Howard, I want to keep for sure, but I just think because our coach doesn't like him, he's probably going to be a part of that trade, which is stupid, just stupid. But DJ, uh, Wayne Ellington, Avery Bradley, uh, Trevor Ariza, send them guys to Boston or anybody to be willing to take them, please, that would be the best thing for us. Um, and we could just fill out our roster with, with G League guys that are probably more serviceable than them anyway. That's my thinking. That makes more sense to me. Call up McClung. Call up some of those other guys dunking on people and stuff. The G League, our G League team is good. And they got guys down there who are balling. And I know a couple of them probably could help us much more than the guys that I just mentioned. So that is what I would do if at all possible. And if that's the case, that's that's a win. Uh, Josh Richardson would be one of our best bench players. Even like I said, I don't like him that much as a player. I just don't think he really plays well anywhere he goes. He can't shoot. His defense subpar. He's just a he's a guy who's not living up to that contract, and that's why Boston wants to get rid of him. That's why Dallas wanted to get rid of him. That's why Philly wanted to get rid of him. He's just not somebody anybody wants to be completely honest with you. But we would rather have him than all of that trash that I just got through mentioning. I, I'm serious about that. Just get them old dudes up off this team, and we will be better. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, you know what I mean? And maybe, maybe we can get lucky, and Josh Richardson finds himself here, but I doubt it. Not in Frank Vogel's system, no. Not at all. Um... So that's 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 the word. I don't know if they be they're gonna do that. I don't know what Boston's desire is for for their team right now, um, but I'd imagine it's a lot easier to waive a bunch of 1.6 guys than it is to try to stretch that uh, that that nine million dollar contract um, or eleven million dollar contract for for Josh Richardson. So if they're willing to take garbage, I, I do it with a smile on my face. Take them dudes up out of here, please, Boston. I, I hate y'all. I know you hate us. But if you could do us that favor, that would be a heaven sent for my Los Angeles Lakers. Now, why you guys would want to do anything for the Los Angeles Lakers is beyond me. And if the Lakers are considering giving up THT in this deal, we have a problem. We have a huge problem. In fact, the problem is much bigger than the problem we have right now because it shows us that we haven't learned a damn thing, that we're not headed in the right direction, then that our GM doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So as much as people don't like THT, there is no way on God's purple and gold earth that we should be giving him to the Celtics for Josh Richardson just to get one of those 1.6 guys up out of here. Hell no. That no, absolutely and utterly not. That's a awful trade. It's a beyond awful trade. That's some, some Ivica Zubats bull crap once again. And if we do that, I, I'll lose faith in our GM. I'm, I, I'll be completely out on him because I, I figure he's not going to be able to help us get better. That's where I will be if he does something like that. But if he can, you know, put that Kendrick Nunn $5 million up there and then take like four of those horrible 1.6 dudes up out of here, hey, we winning. 
we winning. And y'all know how I feel about Kendrick Nunn. I like Kendrick Nunn, but I just am really at a point where I just want to get rid of him because I just feel duped. I, I know that's kind of ridiculous, but like as a Laker fan, we gave our whole mid-level to this guy and he ain't played a single shot. He ain't shot a single shot for us. And it's already February. And he doesn't really play defense. And he's just another scorer. And I think he's just another guy that's going to be taking away minutes um, from, from from our guys that, that also need those minutes like Malik Monk and, of course, um, Austin Reeves and so on and so forth. So I, I am not... I'm not for that. I know we need help on the wing, so I'd imagine they're looking at Josh Richardson as someone who can help us on the wing. But again, I don't look at him as that great of a player, to be honest. And I think most people agree with me on that. So it's like, you know, we'd better be doing ourselves a favor in regards to acquiring him rather than just seeing him as a plus for our team. Because I assure you, he is not. But nevertheless, um, you know, if, if we can do if we can do that that deal that, that looks pretty for us, man, I'd be I'd be so happy to do that. So very happy to do that. So that's about as much as I got to say, man. My name is BDF44. I thank y'all for watching. I'm out.